Hello, I hope you're doing well. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about Boolean data types and the Boolean not operator. So specifically, what we're going to go over in this tutorial is what a Boolean data type is. And then we're going to talk about how to use the Boolean not operator for switching pin states. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So let's start our discussion with Boolean data types. Now, Boolean sounds really weird. Um, like, I, know, I think I have some Boolean in my fridge, like chicken or beef Boolean, you know. This is a little bit different. This is programming speak. So, in programming speak, the easiest way to think about a Boolean data type is to think of like a switch, like a light switch, a really simple old school light switch, which is either on or it's off. A Boolean data type can hold two states. It can either be zero, which is off, or it can be one, which is on. In Boolean speak, zero is the same thing as false, and false is the same thing as low. So zero, false, and low all mean zero. So if I say something's false, I'm saying it's zero in Boolean. If I say something is low, that means it's zero in Boolean. Okay, that's easy enough. Now, if I say a one Boolean, that means that it's true, and that also means that it's high. So one, true, and high are all synonymous in Boolean speak. Now I'm going to throw a little caveat in here for one when we're talking about Boolean. Because the truth of the matter is, is that any non-zero integer is in fact true when we're talking about Boolean. So the number 42 is the same thing as one, is the same thing as true, is the same thing as high. I know that's really kind of strange, but just remember that any non zero integer is also true. So it's easy for false. Zero is false. Low is false. Zero is false. We're good there. But for true, it's one high or any non zero integer. So like negative 14, 142, 1953, all those numbers are true. So how do we declare and initialize a Boolean variable? Well, it's quite simple. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Arduino IDE and we'll take a look at how it's done. So let's look at the first part of this statement, which is the data type, which we've been talking about, which is Boolean. Notice that it's a keyword and it will turn orange for you. And then I've got the name of the variable. I've just called it Boolean on. And then I've set it equal to one, which is our initial initialization of that vari variable. We're setting it equal to a value. And I've set it equal to one. So if you recall, one is equal to true. So I'm gonna write a couple equivalent statements here. So the value of all of these statements is equivalent because it's a Boolean. So remember, Boolean can only exist in two states, either on or off. And all of these variables right here describe something that's on. So you don't believe me? Well, let's, let's find a way to test this really quick. So what I've done is write a setup in a loop, and in the setup I just set the mode of the pin, pin 13 is an output, and then in the loop I do a simple digital write to pin 13, and I set it to the boolean on variable. So what I'm gonna do up here is I'm just gonna go ahead and comment out these other booleans. I'm gonna upload it, and then let's go ahead and take a look at our board. All right, so we can see that the LED is on, as we would expect, because we have boolean on set to one. Well now let's comment out this, and instead do this. Let's upload that and see if there's any change. Oh, the LED is on again. Hey, so we know true is equivalent to one. Well, let's comment that out and turn this one on. We'll upload that. Hey, the LED comes on, that's good. Now let's try this one. And the LED comes on again. So we can be sure that all of those are equivalent statements. Well, let's try the same thing for false. Okay, so zero, false, and low are all Boolean equivalents, and I'm not gonna test it here. I trust that you trust me, and you should try it on your own to see if all these work to turn this off. What I wanna do now is kinda of switch gears. Now that we've talked about Boolean data types, now I wanna talk about the Boolean not operator. 
The Boolean not operator is written as an exclamation point. Now there's a couple cool ways to use it, but the way we're gonna use it right now is to use it to switch a Boolean variable state. So let's go ahead and do it, and then we'll talk about it. Okay, so I've made several changes. Let's start at the top. So the first thing I did is I changed our Boolean variable declaration to change the name to Boolean state. And I've set it equal to zero, which again is false or low. I didn't make any changes in the setup, but in the loop, I changed the digital write call. We're still writing to pin 13, but now we change the variable to Boolean state. So the first time through the loop, we'd be writing it low, and then we delay 500 milliseconds. Essentially, that allows us to see the state of that LED. Now let's look at this last line of code where we use the Boolean not operator. So I'm setting the variable Boolean, Boolean state equal to not itself. So that exclamation point again is the Boolean not operator. And what this statement does is it changes a Boolean variable to the opposite state. So we started out with Boolean state equal zero. Now Boolean state is going to be equal to one. So what behavior is this gonna get us in this loop? So let's run through the loop the first time through. So we said that Boolean state is set equal to zero, so that would be low. So the LED would be turned off and we would delay for 500 milliseconds. So for 500 milliseconds, half a second, all we do is see a turned off LED. Not very exciting. Next line of code, we switch Boolean state. So Boolean state's no longer zero. Now it's one. And remember, one is equivalent to high. And then we would go through the loop again. So digital write pin 13, it's Boolean state. Well, what is Boolean state now? Well, it's high. Okay, so the LED turns on. We delay 500 milliseconds, so we can see that shining LED, and then we get back to this statement. And what does this do? It says Boolean state equal to not Boolean state. Well, it was high. What is not high? Well, that's low, or that's zero. So it would turn the LED off. So you can see, essentially what we're doing is blinking an LED every 500 milliseconds. So let's go ahead and upload this and take a look at it. So our LED is blinking, kind of like we thought it would. You can see that this not operator is a pretty handy little tool for switching pin states. It can be used for all types of things, and probably in other tutorials we'll use it for other types of things. It's great in if condition statements and that type of thing. So I hope you found that this tutorial was a useful way to use Boolean not operator and maybe familiarized you a little bit more with Boolean data types. Look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial and definitely try out the challenge. All right, take it easy. Bye. Thank you.